guys um this is a new video of the day one lecture i went back and watched the old one and i wasn't um it was unusable so here we go again um it's gonna be bare bones right here's the nitty gritty here's what we did in class so if you forgot if you are sick please use these videos uh going forward to refresh or catch up in class so Going through what we do, I ask that when you come, or sorry, going through what we do every day in class, I won't mumble, um, I ask that you please, when you come in, grab your computer, right, and sign in as soon as you uh, come in the door, before you sit down, even, or just drop your backpack off. Um, but yeah, please sign into your computer right away, get into the screen, then you're going to open up Chrome, you can follow along as I go. Mine is loading. Alright, open up Chrome and you're going to go to portal.d214.org. Alright. And I was just logged in, so mine might log me in automatically, but it's going to ask you to put in your email. Please put in the whole email, uh, your the part that's your name, plus at stu dot d two fourteen dot edu or sorry dot org edu is for colleges uh at stu dot d two fourteen dot org all right please type that whole thing in and then it's going to ask for your password and then it'll bring you to a screen that looks something like this for most of you it should look something like this unless you've had like a cat class before if it doesn't look like this there might be a pltw tab at the top uh just click on that so then you're going to click on Autodesk, it's going to launch another window, possibly, and bring you to this screen. Again, still not in the program, takes a, quite a while to load. It should, actually, bring you to a screen that looks like this. Let me go into a bigger window. Bring you to a screen that looks like this. Then, from, I did that kind of quick, from this screen, you're going to click on this eye right in the center. Alright, and it's going to la launch Autodesk Inventor. And it's probably going to have a timer that says two minutes until this program loads. I have this program downloaded on my computer, because I don't always like to get in this way, but when I'm teaching you guys, your screens look like this. So I want my screen to look like this. This program's very powerful. It is like over... 14 gigabytes, I think, when I downloaded it onto my computer, plus whatever catalogs you download with it. So it takes a, quite a while to load. That's why we can save class time if you just log in right away. In the meantime, I ask that you use your iPad as a dual display in this class. It makes it a little bit easier. Um, I'm going to load some images onto Schoology. You can pull them up. Um, under 2D drawings, it should say Unit 1 2D drawings. Um, they're labeled 1 through 5. In class, on Monday, we went only through drawing number 1. And that's what I'm going to do really quickly for you guys. So if you forget how to do that or you need help, use this video. Again, this program takes forever. All right, here we go. So what I had you do in class the other day was link your Inventor account on the computer to your Google Drive. All right, so to do that, all you need to do is click this right here. And then up here in the corner, it will say add storage click on that button you'll see the little google drive yeah google drive logo click on that and it's going to ask at stu.d214.org yes click on that don't click the at d214 one that's for me all right so click on that and then sign into your account and it'll link your drive so that when you save things you can save it to your drive and you can get it anywhere and it, i'm finding that it's so useful i don't have to carry a flash drive 
living in the future. All right, here we go. So the other step we did before we started our drawing, sorry, I'm trying to remember, is we clicked on this little gear right here. You can follow along. All right, we went from inches to millimeters. We want to do this part in millimeters, and it's just easier to set our default right now to millimeters because that's what we're going to be using for the next little bit. And then, yes, we want to overwrite. All right, we want to start a new drawing. So click on this to launch a new drawing. It's going to take a minute. Don't overclick it or anything. You'll freak it out. Again, I have that drawing one brought up on my iPad. In case I didn't say this, that drawing number one brought up on my iPad next to me. And I'm drawing off of that. And so if I go to, real quick, if I go to Schoology, I'll show you where they are. Here's all my courses. Here, here's all your grades. All right. So here's my three CAD classes, whichever one you're in. Yeah, let's go first hour. All right, under Unit 1, 2D Drawings, Drawing number 1. And when I start my drawing, I'm going to start in kind of the top left corner of this. Oh, I've done with this so many times. I'm going to start right here in this drawing. I have this brought up on my iPad right next to me, so I'm drawing off of that. All right, I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to work my way around. And I'm just going to get a rough outline before adding in my measurements. And that will kind of make my shape turn into this. So it's really easy to copy. You just kind of have to have a rough idea of what you're following. So just like a boom, 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 boom. And it'll be pretty easy. So back to Autodesk. The other thing we did, because this C size sheet that it gives you is so big, I'd like us to change our sheet format to a size landscape one view. All right, the second one. All right, just double click. Hit OK. I can redo that. I think I did that kind of quickly. I'll do it a little bit slower. All right, I just said undo. Oh, nope, I don't want that. I want to undo that far. All right, just hit undo a couple times. If you ever make a mistake, it's really easy. You just undo, undo, and then you can Try again. So, your screen probably looks something like this right now. All right, so click this plus sign next to drawing resources, and then the one immediately underneath it, sheet formats, click that. And then you're going to the second one down. Really easy. Just click that and hit OK. That should work for you. Now, Following my mouse, right? You can see it following my mouse. We're going to go to the sketch up here and start a sketch. This allows us to draw on this piece of paper and copy that part. So, starting in that top left corner, just doing a rough outline. So, I click, click again to finish the line, and then I can bring it up. Now it's telling me that this is a 90 degree. Since I don't see any measurements on this angle, I can kind of assume that it's a 90 degree. So just click that, let it click into that 90 degree and hold it there. All right, then click again to finish that line. We're bringing it over again, 90 degrees. It doesn't matter how big on the side. You see where it says 14.993 millimeters. It doesn't matter right now. Um, We'll put in our measurements later, and it'll adjust our drawing to that size. So really, just get the rough idea of what you're looking at. Now this line here, coming at the side. Notice how this line on this side, this line right here, is 18 millimeters, and we want this one to be 10, so it's shorter. I don't want this one to click in along that same line. See how it locks into place? That will 
keep these lines equal when in reality they're unequal. So just make sure you're at 90 degrees and click somewhere above that line. And then continue to follow that shape. Click it again. You guys get the idea. All right, take a couple minutes to do that again. Speed these videos up, slow them down. I don't care. Skip over parts. Just get to what you need to do. Use this video how you need to use it to kind of understand what we're doing in class. All right, so there's a rough idea of what we're looking at. Again, yours might look a little bit different. That's totally cool for now. If you have lines sticking out anywhere, though, go back and make sure that you don't see any lines sticking out past your part. Oh, I don't want to lose my shape here. I'm trying to zoom in. Again, I'm at home. My internet is a little bit slow. And this program's pretty massive. All right, here we go. Again, any lines that are sticking out, please go back and fix them so that you have nothing sticking out of your part, either outside or inside. All right, if you ever want to get outside of the pen tool and like you feel like you're trapped in the pen tool, you're going to right-click on your mouse, right-click, right hand, on the right side, and then hit OK, and then you're free to move however you want and click on other things. All right, this dimension tool. All right, notice how this is one of the bigger, right, the pen tool is pretty big, all these other ones are kind of small, they're a little bit less important. Dimension tool is massive, all right, very important. We're going to be using dimension tool every time we do something. So, click it, and we're going to come down to our piece, and this is going to allow us to put in those dimensions we see on our part. You don't want any measurements on your piece, right, like I click this line, and this should be 44 millimeters. 44 millimeters, boom. All right, it adjusts my part to 44 millimeters. You don't, if, <clears throat> excuse me, it's been a long day. Uh, you don't want any measurements on your part that you don't see on this drawing. So only follow the ones that are here. You don't need anything else. And that'll kind of get your part aligned. So for all the part around, right, 18, all right, clicking on your lines, this one should be 18, all right, always bring it outside your part so you don't confuse the lines with one on your part, all right, this one should be 10, I'm going to bring it over here, kind of outside my part, if you hold down on the scroll button, on your mouse, it allows you to kind of grab onto the page and move it around. Does that make sense? Alright, so I'm going to come out over here, I'm going to click, and this should be 10 millimeters. I've got one up top. I've got one up top here. 33. Alright, this should actually be 30 along that line. There's another one above that, 50. Now to put that one in, notice how it kind of wants to position this nub up top. Alright, to add that one in, you got to click on this line and this line and drag up. And that should be 50. I hope that makes sense. Again, just follow, work in a circle around the part. 20. Now this, to add in a diagonal, a dimension on a diagonal kind of like that, because you'll notice if you try and click this part, it comes to the side, it comes up, but you can't really ever get it to come out on a diagonal. So click it, hold it where you haven't selected the where to place the dimension yet, and you're going to click and hold the line again, and then drag out. Alright, allows me to put that in at 42. Notice that might have changed something down here. 
So let's undo. Kind of ruined my part a little bit right there. Let's see what's going on. So undo. Alright, something over there. When I changed this 34, it didn't like that. So, I'm just going to go, I'm going to set this dimension to 9.78. Again, this is the tricky part of the program. Sometimes, like, you're doing something and you're like, why did that ruin it? And you're, like, spending two hours trying to figure it out. I've done it. I did it for two years in grad school. It was awful. Alright? And I'm trying to, I did it so that, like, you don't have to. So I'm trying to make this class as easy as possible with these videos. So let's do this. Alright, 9.78. That should fix it to where, when I change this dimension to 20, it doesn't ruin that part. Ah, stupid Amazon. 20. Boom, boom. Alright, again. Click once. Alright, click again and drag out. 42. Check your route. Alright. Now. Alright. Again, going around. 46. Eighteen. Point three four. Boom. boom. Is that all of them? That should be all of them. Alright, I can hit finish sketch. And look, I have that exact part here now on my screen. Notice how my part is black too. If your part is still kind of purple when you hit finish sketch, something's wrong. Alright, you can zoom in on your corners and if you have lines that don't meet, you need to fix that. You need to go back and fix that because everything should meet together and be one part. All right. I shouldn't be able to see any beige gaps in my part when I highlight over it. So that's what we did in class today. Drawing 2, I'm going to make another video right now and upload that too. So if you're trying to figure out drawing 2, um, I'm going to do a really quick one on that. It'll be like 2 minutes, so pay attention to that one. Alright, all done.